tacos. It's the season of tacos. That's right. And Seattle chef McKinney Howell has a taco recipe that is plant-based, and it is so good, it's going to make you forget entirely about meat. I already have. <laughs> That's tonight in McKinney's Kitchen. Hey guys, we're going to Mexico today, so grab your passports. On the way, we're gonna make some fancy blue tacos and this lovely green pea and edamame puree. Funny story about this puree, I used to make it for a boyfriend. He's gone, but the puree lasted. <laughs> so first thing we're gonna do is add a little bit of fresh coriander, also known as cilantro, and some chopped up mint, a little bit of lime juice instead of lemon, since we're doing Latin inspired food here. I like to put all of this in here together and then mix it up and then put it in the Vitamix to make a puree out of it. I'm gonna use a Vitamix because I want my edamame puree super creamy like frosting. We're gonna dump this in here and add a little bit of salt and pepper. The salt and pepper is to taste. I like to use black pepper and a little bit of sea salt. This is gonna be loud. A little bit of olive oil. So when it's all done blending, it's gonna look something like this. Now to one of the stars of the show, the portobello. I've put a little bit of oil in the pan, just coat the bottom of the pan, not too much. And if you need to add more, you can always go back and add more. Um, it's thinned out, that's how I know that it's really hot. And I'm gonna put my portobellos in there. I wanna put them in whole because I don't want the portobellos to die prematurely. What I mean by that is I don't want them to get overcooked. I want them to still have a lot of their juice and their flavor inside once this process is over. You can see my pan got super smoky hot. That's gonna add a lot of flavor to the portobello. You can hear the sizzle. Um, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of coriander to season them, salt and pepper. And then I'm actually going to pull them off of the fire before I add my peppers and garlic because I don't want my peppers and garlic to burn a little bit of lime juice, and fresh cilantro. And these guys are ready. Oh, look at that. These are gonna be delicious. Just use that same hot pan and toss your tortillas in there. While it's hot, let them sit. I love Mexican food. I have uh, vegan tacos across the street at Barrio all the time. I have vegan margaritas all the time. <laughs> Just add a little extra tequila. That's how you make your margarita vegan. <laughs> so our tortillas are done. We're gonna take a small amount of the edamame puree, spread it on the tortillas. This is your sauce on the bottom. You can go all over the tortilla if you'd like. Portobello yum. Onions. Fresh coriander. And throw a lime in there. So there you go. Blue corn tortillas with an edamame sweet pea puree and roasted portobello. Where's my margarita? Because that's all this needs. <laughs>